Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to draw this sum in isometric view. They have given front view, top view, third angle. Length is 100, height is 50, width is 50. If you see 100 which is given on the left side of O. So we will take 100 on the left hand side. Height is 50, width is 50. So first we will take set square. We will draw it like this. We will draw the required box. Now remember one thing, in isometric box is very important and you have to retain the box. So after drawing the box, we'll see the part 1, 2, see 1 is this part, entire block. This is circular part and this is slope. So first we will draw with the bottom part. So height is 15. So we'll take 15. Now remember one thing, whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind. So if you see in front view, it's just a rectangle. So behind also it will be a rectangle. How much you have to go behind? 50. So part 1 is done. You should always take part by part. See this. Part 1 is done. Now after this, circle. If you see circle, how much it is? 30. So from here, you take midpoint and you come inside by 30. So you draw a line like this. How much is this? 30. So you take 30. Now over here we draw circle with 4 center method. What is the diameter? 40. So from center we need to take 20, 20, 20, 20. So we will draw a parallel line for the box. Once you get the box, you need to draw longest diagonal. See this. First you draw longest diagonal. Then from center, midpoint of the other two sides. In this corner where angle is more than 90 from there you can draw B now see from here you can draw this curve this is one from the opposite point you can draw this curve now wherever it will intersecting that line with the longest diagonal from there another curve on both the sides see this so this four center method you should do it properly so we got the top portion. Now if you see diameter 25. So again we will draw one more rhombus with the same method. We will take 12.5, 12.5 and we will follow the same procedure. The longest diagonal will be there you just need to draw this channel V right opposite midpoint to this corner now again same way take this radius draw arc maintain the same radius and again you draw arc now from the yeah intersection point of the longest diagonal and that channel V line you can draw another arc and from here also you can draw another arc now remember one thing when you are taking smaller radius there is a possibility that it won't come that accurate so you need to do it properly
okay now we have a circle at the top then same circle will be a down also right so we need to project see this circle at the top the same circle will be a down how much down 35 so we need to take all the points down by how much 35 whatever is there at the top the same thing is down so let's say this point is 1 right this is point 2 and this is point 3 this is I'm talking about the bigger circle diameter 40 right we have to go down by how much 35 so take point 2 down by 35 1 down by 35 and 3 by 35 see this take this radius go down by 35 and draw arc same way take point 2 down by 35 3 also down by 35 take this radius go down draw arc same on the other side so when you're drawing it you draw it light because we don't know how much we can see so draw this tangent now we need to draw this slope how much it is 12 so from center we will take 6 6 mm same on the bottom plate as well as on the circular part We'll take 6, 6, 7 and we'll join this. So we'll get that slope. After that, we project from here. See this. And you draw a vertical line. So we are almost done with this sum. This is very good sum for ICSC students, engineering drawing students, those who want to do technical drawing. For them, this is very important, very good sum. For the beginners level also, over here you will learn how to draw circles and the rib, that inclined slope, that is called rib. After that, you can draw labeling and dimensioning as well as axis line. Thank you.